And I've heard this phrase a couple of times. It's, I've heard it around the state capitol and pier too many times, and I heard it recently from one of our elected representatives in Washington, where they say that politics is the art of the possible. And what that is intended to mean is that if you can't get it passed, forget it. You know, so you've got to play this politics game and trade and, and maneuver and try to get something that you want in exchange for a vote. And when you start abandoning your principles like that, you end up with the country that we seem to have right now, where we have $30 trillion worth of debt because we've abandoned our principles all along the way. And when Biden's administration came out and was negotiating for, what they start out with, somewhere around $4 trillion worth of spending? You know they didn't want $4 trillion. They wanted a million seven or whatever it ended up at. And they got exactly what they wanted. And it seems like there needs to be some sort of a poker lesson taught early on as far as budget negotiations in Washington and in Pierre. So when they negotiate for four trillion and they get 1.7, they got basically everything they want, plus that's just the first package, and then they'll come along with another package. Interestingly enough, just for your edification, our state budget consists of about five billion dollars. And we only generate two billion of that ourselves. The other three billion is federal money. So the two billion, when I heard uh, a question asked of the governor recently about balancing South Dakota budget, and she was speaking at a venue out in California at the Reagan Ranch. And there was kind of a friendly group there that asked her some softball questions, and the question was asked about balancing the budget. She says, we balance the budget with a 4.5% sales tax. And I thought, 4.5% sales tax, 2% municipal tax, 2% exercise tax, a 1% tourism tax, a wheel tax, licensing fees, exorbitant real estate taxes, gambling revenues that were the, we were the second, now we're the third most dependent state in the nation on gambling. Now we're gonna have marijuana revenue. And so with all those things, that's how we balance our budget up to 40%. The other 60%, we rely on the federal government for those dollars. 